Former Bank of Uganda Director for Commercial Bank Supervision Justin Bajenda's driver Job Turiahebwa and bodyguard Juliet Adkolit have admitted to helping her take out three bags of items on 10th February as captured on the bank's CCTV footage. They, however, said they did not know the contents in the bags. The, the first person that is a decorit carried something that was open. It was a plastic uh, bag, cavera blue in color. It was not sealed, it was open, but she couldn't see inside because she told us that for her she was so concerned with security. This is according to a report submitted by a subcommittee that interacted with the officers. An MP Brigadier Francis Takirwa chaired the subcommittee. However, the officers were found to have told lies when they claimed to have driven for six hours from Entebbe Airport to Bank of Uganda premises on 14th March. The Deba gender returned the bugs. She had just flown back from South Africa. This is because the tracking system in Bajenda's car indicated that from Entebbe Airport, the team drove to Chisua, a Kampala suburb, and parked the car for over three hours. The car then reached Bank of Uganda at 6 p.m. They didn't stop anywhere, but arrived at the office at 6.23 p.m., a journey that took them around six hours. Bajenda accessed the premises using the emergency door that she found open. This prompted committee chairperson Abdu Katuntu to hand over Bajenda's bodyguard and driver to police CID detectives for further interrogation. So, where was it stationary? It was in Kiswa. For how long? Up to... From when to when? Up to 1659, which is almost five. Why did you have to lie? Uh, chair, now I drove Madame Justin Vagenda for two years and we've been moving a lot. Uh, sometimes as a human being you can forget, but when he was reading the movements, I remembered where we passed. Why did you have to lie? Since we over moved. Why did you have to lie? And please don't lie again. I remind you. Two security assistants, Beatrice Chambade and Charles Morrow, who were on duty on the day the bugs were taken and returned, will also be questioned for neglect of duty. You've just made a statement. Meanwhile, Bajenda skipped the committee for the third time. Her lawyer, Robert Chirunda, wrote to the committee, informing it that she will be available on Monday a day after she returns from the U.S. Some of the other questions that are yet to be answered are whether there are some high-ranking officers within the bank that connived with Bajenda to take away these documents. Where are these documents? And what exactly are these documents all about? These questions will be answered by Bajenda when she comes to the committee on Monday. Habad Ziwa, NTV here at Parliament.